I'll be showing you guys the best keybinds for keyboard and mouse and sensitivity for the new chapter 5 season 2 update. What's going on guys? I'm going to show you right now exactly how I made the intro you just watched. I'm going to show you every single node and what I did to each node to make this. If you guys want the files that I use for this intro, comment down below and DM me. My username will be shown on screen right now so I can send you the Google Drive link with all of the files. Now, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to effects right over here and drag in a fusion composition onto the timeline. Make sure it's anything longer than um, six seconds long and right click on it, open the infusion page. And this part is just part one of the tutorial, what you guys saw in the intro. It's just this part. And then I'll make a part two with the rest of the intro. And yeah, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. But this is just some of the parts of part two. Not fully done yet, but that's just what I got so far. But we're going to focus on this chunk of nodes right now. So the first thing you want to do is get a background node from right over here or you can click control space search up background and add it and then over here i brought in another background node i just renamed it and then i switched the color to like a pinkish purple the exact colors are over here if you guys want to copy it down and then i added a visionette node and then these are the settings for the visionette you can pause it and copy it down and then it's connected to a merge node the background is connected to a merge and then i added over here a anime zoom green screen as you can see the lines over here i'll tell you how i removed that in a second but i also added a time speed and i reduced the speed to 0.7 because it was just really fast and then the interpolation mode make sure you set it to blend and then i click control space added a delta key which is um, where you remove the green screen all you have to do is click this marker and just drag it onto the green screen so i'll show you guys right now i'll delete it as you can see, it's green. I'll click con control space on my keyboard, delta key here, add it, and then just drag this marker onto the green part, just like that, and it should be gone. And then that's connected to a merge node. And then this is the, um, I'll be showing you guys text. So I added a text node, or actually I'll go back to the purple background. Um, the global in is zero and the global out, it doesn't really matter because the layers are gonna be adding on top of one another anyways. And the global in and out is basically just the start of the um, background and then the global out is the when the background just stops right like it just switches and then visionet does, doesn't really matter and then for the anime zoom screen it doesn't matter just make sure it starts at zero frames okay back to the text the global in is zero and then the global out is 10. that's the text the font is burbank big condensed make sure it's a bold this is the color if you guys want the um, hex code is right over here the size is 0 0.23 tracking 1.03 which is just the spacing between the um, each letter and then right over here under tab spacing select tab make sure it's at one position put it to 0 0.125 and alignment or keep it at zero and then go over to layout right beside text right over here and then beside that there's transform so click on transform make sure your transform is set to characters spacing set it to 1.03 and keep the pivot and everything else at the default and then go to shading um, this is where i added a outline so select element go to 2 which is where the outline is enable it and then thickness make it this thickness if you'd like oops right over here 0 0.0488 or you can use whatever you'd like but that's just mine and then I set it to outside only so that's it for um, this text node and then this is where I animated it so I started it at frame 0 okay I keyframed the X size so if you guys want to get the exact X and Y dimensions and not um, like at all at once basically just go over here to use size and aspect and just select it or deselect it and you should be able to edit it manually like this so at zero frames keyframe it as 0 0.7 for the x size and then go to frame number five and switch the size to 1.16 and go to frame number 10 and put the size x size back down to one it basically just creates like a cool pop in effect if you guys want to see that just go back to the intro but yeah and then go to settings right beside controls right over here Blend mode, put it to 1. That's basically the opacity of the text. And then select motion blur right over here. Max out the quality to 10. Max out the shutter angle. Center bias, put it to negative 1. And sample spread, put it to 5. That's it for the transform. 
And then for the camera shake, these are the settings for the camera shake. You can pause the video, copy if you like, but yeah, that's my settings. And then I added a glow node, so just the glow outside the text. These are the settings, glow size 58.3, glow 0 0.756, blend 0 0.2, make sure your clipping mode is at frame and everything else is set at default. And then I also added a drop shadow node. These are the settings, you guys can pause it if you'd like. But the color is black, it's just black. And then these are the sh uh, strength, drop angle, drop shadow, blur. And yeah. And then for the um, B text right over here, all I did was copy paste this node. For I just copy paste the aisle text over here. Again, renamed it just so it's more organized. I copied the transform, I just copied everything basically. All we're going to be doing is changing the keyframing so when it shows up. So click keyframes right over here, drag the transform one, or right over here, transform one underscore one. So just scroll down till you find it, so right over here, you want to zoom in, uh, just like that, zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so right over here. So originally, it's going to be lined up with the previous one. So it's going to be aligned like right beneath this basically. But what you're going to want to do is just highlight this. But for the transform 1 underscore 1, so over here, just highlight all of it. And then just move it so it lines up. So the first animation, so the first keyframe is around um, frame 9 or 10. So again, you just highlight it and then move it to over here basically okay once you got that i'll show you the um spline for all of the text so if you click transform any one of the transforms uh spline put that right there zoom to fit so this is my spline for the um all of these texts so before you um do the keyframe just copy paste the transform text after you do the spline because it's going to be the same one just so it's more um smooth yeah so this is it you can just pause the video and copy it if you like so yeah that's pretty much the exact same for the showing text and then the showing text instead of starting it from uh frame 9 or 10 this starts at frame 20. so same process go to keyframes highlight the nodes or highlight the lines and then just move it to frame number 20. and then i for the next node i added a background right over here so the blue one of how this is basically actually we'll go back to the transform text okay we're gonna go back to the transform text right over here because we did adjust the y y axis y size and the angle as well so I'll just show you guys the keyframing once again for the showing text so at frame number 20 keyframe the x size as 0 0.7 and then go to frame number 25 and keyframe the x size at 1.16 and then go to frame number 30 and put the x size back down to 0 and then we're going to start the y size and angle keyframe on frame number 30 so keyframe it by just clicking on it and then go to frame number 45 and switch the x size to 5 y size to 5 and angle to 40.37 and then we're going to go to frame number 60 and put the angle to 39.1 and then we're going to go to spline for this transform node okay so it's this right over here so that for the angle spline this is the angle spline copy it if you like and then and this is the x size the or the one in the orange is the x spline and then this one is for the y size the yellow one yeah so just copy that down and you should be good and then you see how it fades in from the text to blue. So right over here, it starts to fade in. So for the background, um, just put the global into zero, global out to max or whatever. And then this is the color. So make it make sure it's the exact same color as the text. So just go to your color text, copy the hex code, go to the background, click the color and paste it right over there. And then we're gonna go to the merge node and adjust the blend there. So we're going to go to frame number 35 and keyframe the blend at 0. And then go to frame number 45 and put the blend up to 1. And there is no spine for this. It's just 
um, normal, no spine. And then for this one, for the settings clip, where you guys see the settings um, pop up from the bottom of the screen. So I added a transform node and then I added a rectangle to basically just cut out the shape of the thing. So level is at one, uh, soft edge is at zero, border width is at zero, make sure it's inverted and solid. And then we're gonna go to, this is basically the transform. Okay, so for the transform, make sure the size is 0 0.86. And then we'll start with the rectangle. So go to frame number 82, and then keyframe the corner radius as 0 0.252. And then go to frame number 85, and put the quarter radius all the way down to zero. Okay, and then uh, go back to the transform node. We're gonna enable motion blur. Quality, put at seven, shutter angle to 58. Center bias, leave it at zero. Sample spread, leave it at one. And then we're gonna add another transform. This is where we're actually gonna be animating so go to we're gonna start it at, we'll start with the center okay so go to frame number 43 and then put the x-axis to 0 0.5 so leave it there and then y-axis negative 0 0.433 and then go to frame number 60 switch the y-axis to back to 0 0.5 so that's it for the x and y and then for the size right over here Go to frame number 66, keyframe the size at 0 0.86, and then go to frame number 85 and bring the size back to 1. Alright, so I'll show you guys the spline for the transform right, right now. Alright, so this is the transform for um, all of it. So the purple one is for the center, X and Y, will be animated first. And then the size is the darker purple. Alright, so after you're done with that, we're going to add a camera shake. These are the settings, you guys can pause it and copy it down. We added a glow. The glow size is 11.8. Um, glow 0 0.354. Make sure your clipping mode is on frame. And then your blend is 0 0.11. And we I added a drop shadow node. These are the settings. And then a merge node that connects to the other merge nodes. And then this is the um, keyboard PNG that comes up. So make sure the global in for this is 121 and the global out is 299. So I added a transform node. So make sure for this one, the use size and aspect is selected. And then go to frame 119 and keyframe the um, X and Y. Keyframe the X is negative 0 0.2 and Y is 0 0.7. And then go to frame 131 and put the X to 0 0.27 and Y to 0 0.74. And then this is the spline for the transform, pretty simple. And then I added a camera shake. These are the settings, pause it and copy it down. And for the glow, glow size, put it at 100, glow at 0 0.433, clipping mode, frame, blend, 0 0.2, and then drop shadow, these are the settings. And for the merge, we, um, we animated the blend. So go to frame 121 in the merge node, and keyframe the blend at 0, and then go to frame 126 and put the blend all the way up to 1, so it kind of fades in. And then same thing for the mouse PNG, global in 121, global out 299. This one's a little bit different, but the animation starts at frame 148. Keyframe the X and Y at 1, and then Y at 0 0.725. And make sure your size is set to 0 0.66. And then go to frame 170, and all you have to do is adjust the size, or I mean the center X to 0 0.795. And then camera shake, you can just copy the same camera shake. Glow, copy the same glow, and drop shadow, copy the same drop shadow. And then merge 15, we animated the blend here as well. So at frame 146, blend is at 1. I mean, sorry, over here, frame 146, blend is at 0. And then go to frame 156, blend is at 1. Okay, and this is for the best text. So there's quite a lot of keyframes, as you can see over here, but don't worry, it's pretty simple, it's just the color. So for this one, First thing, get the text, okay? The, the fonts are right over here, and make sure it's bold. Size, set it to 0 0.366, and everything else is at default. And then go to transform, or I mean shading. Go to select element two, enable it. Opacity, keep it at one. Thickness, 0 0.0386. Make sure your appearance is set to this one, the second one. 
and everything else just keep it at default global in make sure it's set at 50 global out doesn't matter just make sure it lasts throughout the whole animation okay so what i did over here it's just a color okay it's nothing too hard all i did was switch the color in between so at frame 60 you can just play around with this as you want but i'll tell you exactly how my my color is i guess so um frame 60 color is set to like a pinkish purple and then 65 it's set to purple and then frame 70 it's set to like blue here's the hex code and then frame uh, 75 it's set to this neon blue and then frame 80 it's set to green and then frame 85 it's set to this dark yellow and then frame number 90 it's set to orange and then frame number 95 is set to the same orange and then frame 100 is just like a yellow and then frame 105 is green and it just goes back so it basically just goes through there all the way to that and then it just goes back and forth okay i'm not gonna go through the whole thing but yeah and then i added a transform node so right over here go to frame number 60 and keyframe your center x at 0 0.30 keyframe your y at 0 0.476 and then keyframe your X and Y size. So remember, just uncheck the use size and aspect. Keyframe your X and Y size at one and one. And then keyframe your angle at zero. And then go to frame number 78. So for the X and Y. And then put your X at 0 0.306 and your Y at 0 0.476. Now for the pivot, I forgot to tell you this, but go at frame 60, keyframe the pivot as well at default. And then go to frame number 68 and put the pivot to these settings and then go to frame 73 and the pivot switch it to these 0 0.6 and then 0 0.4 okay now for the x and y size make sure you've keyframed the x and y at um, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 and then go to frame 78 put the x and y size to 1 and then for the angle at, go back to frame 60 put the angle to negative 28.7 and then go to frame 78 and put the angle back down to zero. Then camera shake, these are my settings. Glow, glow size is at 58.3, glow is at 0 0.787. Clipping mode is at frame, blend is at 0 0.2 and everything else is default. And then drop shadow, here are the settings. Make sure your color is just at black, but you can do what you want. Um, merge, I did nothing to it. So same exact thing for the rest of the letters. But all I did for this was adjust the keyframing, okay? Like I showed you guys in the last one, just adjust the keyframe. So copy everything and then paste it, connect it to a merge node, connect the merge. And then all, all you need to do, switch the text to um, E. So the B, B and all that text is set to the exact same thing. So you don't need to change any of the text nodes itself. But for the transform, you want to make sure that each, um, each transform node is three frames apart so as you can see the first transform node for the b text is at 60 right it starts at 60 and then for the e text it starts at 63 and then for the s text it starts at 66 and for the t text it starts at 69 and i'll just show you guys the spline for these nodes it's the same exact one but it's right over here it's a little bit complicated so i'll go through with you so this is um for the x and y right over here and then this is um the spline for the pivot uh, if you guys can see this is the middle one right over there and then for the x this is the spline for the x and the spline for the y is the exact same and then for the angle it's this right over here and feel free to pause the video and go back if i'm going too fast but yeah so that's pretty much it for the um, text nodes. We're basically at the end, but for this, now it's just a gameplay clip. Set your global in to 166 and your global out to 620 or whatever. And trim it to 64 so it starts at frame 64 of the video. Like the actual gameplay video starts at 64 and then it ends at 516. And I added a transform node, so let's see how I animated this. So go to frame 168, 
keyframe the X and Y, put the Y to 1.44, and then go to frame 193 and put the X and Y to 0.5. And then the spline for this one is just like this, pretty simple, right over here. And the merge is the same. And the myth and mortals, the one at the end, make sure your make sure your global in is at 239 and global out is at 620. Trim this to um, 1918 and set your trim out to 2299 and then add a transform node. Go to frame 239 and put the Y to negative 0.435 and then go to frame number 270 and put the X to 0.52 and then also put the Y to 0.5 and then so the spline for this one is just like this also pretty straightforward and yeah the merge node and then connect that to the media out all right guys so that's it for part one of this tutorial if you guys do want to see part two which i'm currently making over here on the side if you guys do want to see that make sure to leave a like subscribe and yeah